Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of We Had 80 Bags of Treats. We gave all of them out, and there were still trick or treaters, and we didn't have anything to give them. So, Obamacare. Let's talk about Obamacare. You're not hearing a whole lot about certain things that you should be hearing about because of the state media. The state media doesn't want to talk about it. Right now, there are a lot of people who cannot go see the doctor. There are a lot of people who cannot get their medication. In some cases, medication they've been on for years, needed medicine. Um, people are dying. People cannot get into the hospital. They, they need surgery or they need to go to the MHU or the mental health unit or something like that. They don't care. No, they don't care. Obamacare slash Romney care. Remember, it was Romney care before it was Obamacare. Um, you know, the Republican Party is is uh, socialist. They're neoconservatives, not conservatives. And a neoconservative is a socialist. That's why Romney proposed it long before Obama did. But anyway, so people are dead and people are dying and more are going to die. Uh, information about that is starting to trickle out through independent media, what little is left of the truly independent media. Um, now we here in New Cary, formerly known as New Hampshire, we are exempt from Obamacare. Many um, unions have received exemptions as well. Of course, they want to tell you this is not true, but it is true. The Congress has also received exemptions. And there's a reason so many people have exemptions. Because Obamacare is not good. Or you can call it Romney care. I don't care. It's still all the same. You think Romney is a conservative? He's from Massachusetts. We live just a few miles from Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a, not a haven for conservatives. It's far left. And so, you know, the, the way medicine used to be done. You know, my, uh, my uh, mother and uncle, born at home. Both of them were born at home. The doctor went to the house. You didn't pay the doctor an arm and a leg. Doctors weren't rich. You paid them what you could afford to pay them. I, I, I know my mother has told me that sometimes uh, they didn't have any money, so Sunday supper, you invited the doctor over. That was how you paid the doctor. It's called barter and trade. You a chicken. Yeah, or you give them a chicken. That, uh, who was it? They also they did that with somebody. Maybe it was the doctor. That you give them a chicken. You you. you uh, my grandparents usually weren't rich enough to have a hog. They would have one every now and then, but not every year. So other family member, because you had you had the hog killing every year. And um, because my grandparents weren't rich. They couldn't afford to raise a hog every year, so somebody else in the family who was wealthier would, and when we're talking wealth in this context, we're not talking about a whole lot of money. My wife and I are probably filthy rich compared to my grandparents on my mom's side, maybe even on my dad's side. But, you know, the somebody else in the family who was able to raise two or three or four hogs would give a hog to the, fam to the family members that did not have one. Because that was your food. You ate that. You, you did not eat it all at once. You can't eat a whole hog at once anyway. And for those who've never seen a, the, a butchered hog, it's not a whole lot left. And of course... They ate everything. The pigs. Everything except squeal. Yeah, they ate the pigs. You know, my mother used to keep a jar in the refrigerator of pickled pigs feet. Ugh. 
you know, but everything was used. Now, uh, I, I saw the what was what was left of the hog, uh, the prize hog of a, a, a county fair once, and I'm like, my gosh, that's such a waste. There wasn't much left. You know, come in it was a big hog, and that's all that was left. I'm like, jeez, why bother? I mean, yeah, it'll feed you for a little while, but anyway, you know, my um, my granddaddy, he had to stop farming because of FDR, because of his policies. Now there there are price controls and all sorts of regulations. Uh, farmers were paid to uh, either plow up crops or the government bought the crops. Took them out in the in the swamps and dumped them. You know th there were starving people that could have used that food. So we could return to a more free healthcare system, which is you negotiate with the doctor what you can afford. It's like the more regulations the, the the more regulations that come into to play, the the worse things are. So, you know, now the best thing you can do is go to maybe to go to a medical school. I have a excuse me, I have a friend on Facebook. She works for what used to be called MHMR, Mental Health and Mental Retardation, in Texas, and she can't get her medicine and she can't see the doctor now because of Obamacare. So, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now she says she's, you know, she has conditions that she needs treated. Are bipolar and stuff? I don't know. I mean, could be. Say. She didn't say. So, um, <coughs> you know, I. That's pretty bad, though, when you can't. Yeah, and you work for the state. Go to doctor when you need to. Yeah, and you work for the state of Texas. So. I'm telling you people, we warned you, and we told you there'd be exemptions, and there are. You can sit there and say th these exemptions don't exist, but they do exist because we live in New Hampshire, and we know that the, we're exempt. So, anyway, there are people dying, and there are more people going to die because of Obamacare slash Obamacare. Surprised that we have an exemption, anyway. Uh, What's well, a state exemption? Well, I mean, I'm surprised that we haven't oh, have it. Yeah. 